Hey, it's Ivan, the High Handicap Golfer. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today, I'm playing at Cimarron National. It might be my last time playing here for a while. Not the best course conditions I've seen out here. So, straight away, part four, my tee shot with the 7-1 went left and just had to chip out. And then, um, going to try to take a full swing here. Doesn't manage to really get off uh, the ground and have a chip shot now. Uh, that was my first taste of the greens, not rolling out at all, really. So they were kind of long. I didn't have a chance to warm up, um, and I didn't have a chance to putt at all. So, um, I was kind of telling on the first couple holes here. So an opening seven, uh, on to hole two, which is a par five, uh, hit forward here decently well, um, low, but it ran out, uh, just on the left side of the fairway here and... Again, couldn't get this up in the air very well at all. It's and so I, I still have a chance to hit the green with my approach here. So hit eight iron. Finally got a little bit higher, but not very much. And so ended up on the right side and able to chip on here and give myself a decent look uh, at a par. And then Thorson here from off camera right there with a super nice putt. Putt's better than me most of the time. And here I am with my par chance. I managed to sink the ball. Oh, nice. so one of the better putts of the day. So shorter par three here. Good. Thorson with the big stick. A little slice action. He wanted to hit a couple. So here I am uh, with my first finally decent shot of the day. A little too decent, ended up flying the green, so had to chip back on. And this ran oh, out so cool. too much, a little bit low there. And here's Thorson with his second oh, nice putt. putt in a row. Look at you go, bro. And I don't have the same uh, success here, so ended up two putting from here, and that's a bogey. So here's a par five uh, with water uh, between the fairways there. So uh, laid up with a seven iron here. There's no way I can clear that water. So hit a nice seven iron and left myself a easier shot with a six iron. Just a nice easy swing. Also found the fairway. Gave myself a, a chance to get on the green uh, with the uh, gap wedge. And went a little left there in a little Texas wedge action here. Uh, managed to get it somewhat close, but missed the uh, little five footer, four or five footer, and um, that is a bogey. So onto the fifth hole here, hit five iron about 180 to the center of the green, and came up a little bit short and right, and another Texas wedge. So I'm getting close to the green here. Uh, got this one actually pretty close and. On this putt, I managed to uh, to sink the shorty for a par. All right, a par, and then on to the easiest hole on the golf course, which is a short par four, hole six, hit nine wood into the fairway, and then left myself a, a short wedge in. Um, probably should have just hit a bump and run, but decided to hit the full 58 and hit it okay. a little thin and all the way through the back. Here's Thorson with a nice little two putt. And so I'm back of there having to hit under the trees to chip on. Uh, which kind of got caught up on the tall stuff. And I did hit a nice putt here to, to save the bogey at least. So I went cozied up next to the hole. And then four wood off the tee here, straight right into the trees, about 90 yards. Uh, Tried to hit a five iron down to the right and ended up pulling it to the other trees on the other side of the fairway. And then finally was able to get out into the fairway and then hit a nine iron here. Was going to have a nice easy swing and then gave it the business and went over the back of the green. Half of the green here was dead. You wouldn't even see my chip shot hardly go through that dead stuff. And it's going to go past the yellow flag down at the bottom. And then I'm going to have to uh, two putt for an unfortunate seven. Mm. 
So here on eight with an eight iron, it had a big, nice, high little draw that just stuck on the green. It's probably one of my better shots of the day. And then the camera got taken out by the wind here. Came up short like my putt. Uh, had quite a bit of work left. Here's Thorson. He has a nice little roll here. And so hit that green and hit a crappy first putt and not a great second putt. So sucks to have to bogey there. So here on nine, I elected to hit the seven wood to keep it in the fairway. Hit a big, nice, beautiful draw, but it drew too much right into the trees. So here I am into the trees, just poking it out, get it back on the fairway. Uh, Going to hit a lob wedge, my 58 degree. Uh, did get managed to get it on the green, just on the back, and managed to two putt from here which was cut quite a feat look have to go through all this dead crap the, the greens again were just terrible um so we're going to move on to the back nine so nice big fairway on 10 so decided to break up the driver and of course hit like a low hook probably the worst tee shot of the day but it did actually manage to stay in play found it over on the left hit a six iron here up and close to the green uh nice six iron actually and had a little chip shot. Uh, I had to pitch it up just a little bit. Uh, didn't quite get it as far as I wanted to, but here I'm gonna make uh, a nice putt for a, a, one of the rare pars today. You did it, Dad. Par. What? Par. Par. Yeah, good for me. So, Four wood here off the tee. This is on 11. Pushed it a little bit to the right, but uh, stayed in play. Didn't find any trouble. Hit a nine wood. Still quite a ways from the green at this point. And that's the worst swing with that nine wood probably yet. Left me a lob wedge. And I probably should bump and run this. But just, it's, it's a good distance for my lob wedge. So uh, I came up short, though. And good, had dude. to chip on yeah. with the nine iron. And came up short. The no release really. Like I said, the greens weren't mowed and they were just crappy. So um, I'm gonna have to two putt from here, and that's a double after the par. So here on to twelve, a short par three. Uh, hit pitching wedge. Didn't quite get it, and ended up short and right a little bit. And again, look at how terrible. I, I know I keep saying it, but, like, it was just kind of shocking. It was, like, this green was almost unplayable. And so chipped up uh, with a pitch and wedge and then uh, ended up two-putting. So that's a bogey. So we are on to the 13th hole, which is a par five. Uh, I got to carry some water to get over on the green. I uh, hit a nice draw with the uh, four wood that stayed in play. And I missed finishing my, my second shot, missed filming, uh, which was an eight iron that uh, I laid up with. And this is my third shot, which was the uh, gap wedge, uh, which did find uh, the back of the green. So a green in regulation. Got a scary little downhill putt. You can't tell from the flag, but as soon as you get down towards the hole, it kind of slopes down and you're going to see it run away from you right there. Uh, it was a pretty decent putt. I thought I was tracking for a minute. And then putting back up the hill, just didn't give it enough, and three putt. Bogey. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on that first flag on the right there. It's where I'm aiming. It's not where the ball goes. It's going to go uh, right and a little short. going to leave myself a little pitch shot uh, with the 58. And uh, hit a decent one. Just wanted that to carry a little bit further. Did find the green. And from here, um, left the first putt short and then managed to hit the second putt for the bogey. Uh, <laughs> so another par five that you got to lay up on that little island there. And I that one did manage to stay in play. I was worried I wasn't going to find it. It's uh, back in the trees here. So just uh, chipped it out back onto the fairway. And then uh, I missed filming uh, the next shot. And so here's the my fourth shot up. Went left of the green. Left myself um, in the rough here and chipped on. It was kind of moving, so I'm really glad it hit the pin there. 
uh, or else that was going to go by another 10 feet probably at least. So uh, hit the putt here for a nice up and down for a bogey. Yeah, so this hole is tough. You're forced to lay up pretty much, and then you have this super long approach. That is if you hit it straight, which I didn't hit nine wood. Over t way to the right and then hit a six iron way to the left and all that crap. So I ended up dropping, and then I thinned a gap wedge, but it did stick right into that rough. So uh, luckily, was able to uh, chip on. Again, no release whatsoever. The hole was actually going downhill that way but didn't release and so um ended up two putting and that's a, a seven so another seven on the card here on 17 hit a decent um shot with my seven iron and it kicked right uh, which you can't see but kicked right onto the green just in, just in a little bit left and then um from here again putting was subpar and i uh Ended up three putting, just left this one just a touch short for bogey. So breaking off the driver for the second time today, hit a nice one down the middle, like 260-ish, uh, ran out a bunch, kept it pretty low, and then hit a nice six iron here. Uh, there's a, a little pond down there I'm trying to uh, stay short of and got to carry over it now. Flag's up there a little bit to the right, and I'm going to hit a gap wedge. I'm going to pull it a little bit. Uh, that green is like super wide, so did manage to still hit the green. And then again with the crappy grass, like I actually rolled that pretty well. I mean, I don't know if it was going to get all the way there, but it had no chance once it hit that dead grass, it hit like a piece of crab grass and bounced or something. So it just kind of pissed me off. So one more three putt uh, just to go. You know, it's par for the course for today, but not par on my scorecard. So that's a bogey. Yeah, appreciate you too. So there's my scorecard. You can see I uh, shot a 93. Uh, putting was poor, but the greens were so terrible. Uh, it was really tough. The handicap did go up a little bit, as you can see there. Uh, that's okay. I'm confident. I'm going to keep working on the new swing. I'm going to ingrain it in my head. So a lot of times on the course, like you revert back to what you know, and that's definitely was the case today. I reverted back on probably 75% of my swings. My the good swings, I could tell I had a good, you know, early release and it and they felt really good. So gonna keep working on it and get it to feet to be natural. Gonna get the handicap down, keep working on the short game. And uh we're gonna get it under 20 by the end of the year. I'm confident. So hope you guys enjoyed the latest course vlog. Please leave me a like. Uh, leave me a comment if you uh, have any questions. Let me know and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, really helps and want to keep the channel moving. So uh, we will see you later.